I know Taurus, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the energy, if you like the vibe, feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, so let's see what's on and popping with Taurus. Remember, Taurus, I could be picking up on you, a cross watcher, or a third party, or anybody around your energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Minera. What does Taurus need to know at this time? What does Taurus need to know? Hmm. Taurus, I feel like a very controlling energy, a person here that's very possessive, a person that you might have met or you might have a commitment with now or had, but I feel like there's somebody that might have come in to your energy and offered you, you know, a lot of like little games here and there, like promising you this, promising you that, love and everything else. And I feel like there was something good going on there. Maybe you might have fallen in love with this person at some point, but it came to the point where the love was lost. Like you lost the love for this person because they were, they were very controlling and possessive. It's like... A person that came off in the beginning like, I got your back. You feel me? I got you. You know, I'm the one. I do this. I do that. They were showing you a lot of things. But in the, like, behind the scenes, they were a whole fuck up. You feel me? Like, when a person comes in and tells you, okay, you know what? And you see all the goodness in them. And you see all the good things they did and all the good things that they were doing. It might have been a Capricorn at that. I don't know why. But this person became very obsessed, very possessive, very controlling, very abusive, mentally, physically, in all kind of ways. And I feel like at some point you had a good connection, a good love going on here with somebody here. You feel but the love is gone completely. Like this person, either you felt out of love or they were cheating and it's like you just couldn't take this no more. I feel like, I feel like they left you a little bit traumatized to be honest with you. I feel like they wanted to, they were obsessing so much into your energy. It's like the happiness was gone. It's like you walked away. Or you're about to walk away from somebody here. But this person, you know, I feel like they made money. I feel like they worked at some point. I feel like they had things to offer. And I feel like when it was their time to do it, you feel me? Not when you wanted it or when you needed it. You feel me? But I feel like this person was very abusive. Very abusive towards you or towards somebody here. It could be family members. It could be friends, too. You know, that there was a connection there. You feel me? Family, blood, whatever. Because you don't have to be blood to be called family. You feel me? And this person deceived you really, really bad. And I feel like this person is still trying to deceive you. The Ten of Wands in the bottom of the deck. You know, it's like you were carrying everything from, from this person and your damn self. And the whole family is what I'm picking up here. I feel like there was family that didn't like you. And they turned this person against you at some point. You feel me? It could be... You could flip it. Look at this. I can't make shit up. The Five of Pentacles. A lot of hard times you went through with this person. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The love here is gone. For whoever it is. Both of you. Two people that might have had a really, really, really bad fallout. And when I say bad... There was a lot of physical here with both of you. Whoever I'm picking up. Either somebody put their hands on somebody here, but somebody fought back at some point. Too much. Too much fighting. You know, no lack of emotions whatsoever this person has. This person is a whole motherfucking son of a bitch. I'm going to say it like that. You had to put every single strength you had inside of you to walk away from this. Or you, if you're dealing with a person like this, you're going to have to put every single strength to walk away from this person. Because this person is like a person that only shows hard times. It's a person that starts problems wherever they go. The person that doesn't care. They have no emotions for anybody. They don't have emotions for themselves, for anybody they're with, for their parents, for their kids. If they got kids, they don't got nothing but control. They want to control people. And, you know, I feel like... At the end of the day, I don't know why I'm picking up a Capricorn so severely, but I feel like at the end of the day, 
this person, you know, even their own family members, like this person's a whole damn lunatic is what I'm going to say right here. But you lost love and this person lost love. And if you're dealing with somebody like this, they're not letting you go. It's like the obsession that I'm seeing is so big. It's like there's threats. There's things that are de being done here. If you walked away from this person. And if at some point you did walk away or you're trying to walk away, this person's like on you. You feel me? Like you ain't walking away. I'm not liking this motherfucking energy right here. Not only did they put you through hard times, they made you lose a lot of things here. Even possibly your home is what I'm picking up here. You lost yourself in this process with this person. A liar, manipulator. You know, I feel like this person... You know, I don't know why I'm seeing a lot of smoke here. Like, um, when something sets on fire and the smoke comes up in black, I'm seeing it everywhere. I don't know if something went up on fire. I don't know if this person smokes tobaccos or something like that. But there's like something with a lot of smoke, like fogginess. But it's like smoke when there's fire and a building or a house is burning and fire comes up. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know why I'm seeing that around this person's energy. I feel like this person lays back and enjoys to see people getting hurt. Or at some point you were getting hurt or you were doing something. This person hurt you severely and didn't care. They would sit back and watch. Like, what the fuck? This person might have been a person that owned something... Had money, had money, owned something, or was in a very high position here or something. But you were going through hell with this person, or you still are. And you might still be. You walked away from this person. Look at this. Where is it? It's like you, sh you, sh you either you left this person, or you're about to shred this person out of your life. The devil card. A lot of toxic, a lot of toxic energy here. This person could be a drinker with pills. You're walking away. Or you walked away from this person. Or they're going to walk away. But walking away, even if you walk away from this person, even if you do anything to walk away from anybody here, this person is very toxic. It's a person that will not let you go. It's a person that has a lot of darkness inside of them. A person that tempts people to do wrong. You feel me? Like, they'll go up to anybody or even yourself. Whatever it is, however it hits you. And they will tell them, do this, do that, do that. And it's like, people don't want to do it. But they end up luring the person to do it. Like, this person's very, very evil. They will convince anybody to do something wrong. And then not even take acknowledgement of what they did. Somebody gets in trouble, they don't give a fuck, they walk away. I feel like they got somebody in trouble here. I feel like at some point somebody got in trouble here and this person walked away from everything. And you might have been blamed or someone around this person's energy got blamed. Did, did jail time or did something for this person. And it was a whole chaos because they came out like a snitch anyways. The energy is so bad that it's, I need to like focus and relax because... The energy that I'm picking up is so bad. I feel like somebody lost, almost lost their life here or somebody was about to lose their life here. I don't know why I'm seeing a string. I'm seeing like a string. Ocean, waves, clouds. Thunder. I don't know if this person drives a boat or had a boat or you guys went on a cruise or there was something going on with a boat here and there was like rain or fog or there was a mist and you saw something or you picked up an energy, something about that or you may be dreaming with that. If somebody's dreaming with a lot of black smoke like when a building goes on fire or how, I don't know why I keep on saying building. You might live in a building or this person lives in a building. Be careful with fire. Be careful with smoke. Be careful with, you know, anything that surrounds itself with hot, with heat. Something's going to happen here. Really, really bad.
somebody who's going to get pushed or got pushed and is going to get hurt really bad. If you live in the mountains or you live in land or you live anywhere where there's cliffs or not even cliffs. I'm not even seeing a cliff. I'm seeing like a, oh my God, like a, something that goes down, but it's not, it's far, but it's not too far, but you can get hurt. Somebody can get really hurt. What the fuck? You could be dealing here with a Capricorn. With a Cancer. Oh my God, with a Libra, with another Capricorn. My God, no, Leo. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, Capricorn. My God, this energy is really bad. I don't like it. Minera. Give me more on this person. Show me, Taurus, moving forward. I don't know why I keep on seeing somebody falling. You get me hurt really bad. Be careful, this person doesn't come around you. Or it's still in your energy and does something crazy and you fall and hit yourself. And something could happen really bad. Or you're going to get hurt. Really bad. Somebody's scared of somebody here severely. But I feel like somebody here either passed away because of this person or could could pass away. And it doesn't have to be you. It could be anybody around this person's energy. They might have gone to jail for a murder or they might have committed something and they didn't get caught. This person is very evil. Minera. Oh my God. I don't even like the feeling that I'm getting from this person. Mineta, what else does Taurus need to know here? Moving forward. What else? This person is very evil, my God. Listen, there could be a ditch with water. Look, water, and I just turned it. There was, there was a marriage here, a very long commitment with this person. You know, all you want is to move forward and be happy. You don't care if you got a seat and a table to sit in your fucking home. You just want to be happy. You don't care if you got a seat on the floor and a comforter. You just want to be happy. This is a commitment. This person was not willing to move forward and do anything. It's like you would try to bring happiness and everything into the home and try to fix everything. And even in fear, you tried to fix everything and this person didn't give a fuck. This person was going around with somebody else. They got a lot of secrets. And they got a lot. Listen, there's something here that I don't want to say, but I have to say. But there's something here that's not rubbing me in the right way. You got the king of swords on the bottom of the deck. They might be coming back to try to come your way but this person or somebody this person knows or around this person there's something with water I see a cemetery I see I see bad things man I don't know if you live by a cemetery and there's water around there but there's something with water in a cemetery here I feel like this person has done something really really bad my God, look at this. What else, Minera? This is something that I don't even want to channel right now. This person has done everything to you that a person could possibly not even handle. This person has done so much to you that I feel right now the pressure in my head and my chest. You're getting your confidence back. I feel like you stood up for yourself at some point and left this person. Left this commitment or this marriage. But it took you a lot to leave this person. Or it's going to take you a lot to leave this person because this person is very evil. The palace of swords, a house full of like a lot of conniving energy. Look at this. The bottom of the deck, the five of wands, a lot of fights, drama screaming you know like physical violence between you and this person and other people and whoever would get in it will get it too it's like a person if somebody would stand up for you or a friend was there they will get it too 
either physically, they will get hit. If they, if they will get in the way, this person wouldn't stop. There was no change in this person. There will never be no changing in this person. You tried to get out of... I'm feeling like you tried to get out of this situation and tried to get out of the situation to get a new place or an apartment or a home or whatever it was. And this person got in your way and stopped you. And I feel like stopping you was physically putting their hands on you and doing some crazy shit to you. This person is like an enemy to you. They're watching you, so be very careful, Taurus. I'm going to say right now, it's not for every Taurus. I could be picking up on a, some Tauruses on a crosswatcher, but this person right here... I feel that this person has committed murders before. And they'll do it again. If somebody's locked up here, and you already left this person years ago, and they're doing time, hard time, and they come out. They're going to come out and do something crazy again. They don't give a fuck. It's like their brain already is not even there. Their brain is not there. Their brain is, is gone. Like, their mental state is not there. It's a very sneaky, conniving person. They will find you anywhere. They will find anybody. I feel like when you want this person, you will try to leave or go somewhere or go to a friends or family, whatever it was. This person would find you anywhere you are. There's a very dark spirit attached to you because of this person. This person had a spirit attached to them. It was very, very evil. Even though this person is very evil and it got attached to you. So be very careful. Of your thoughts, what you're thinking, you know, if you're thinking bad things, if you're thinking things and you're like, what the fuck, I would never do that. Why am I thinking that? Am I losing? Am I going crazy? That's that spirit. So this person has stayed with you for some reason. This person might have left it with you, but it's a spirit that, that will make you do things that are crazy and it might give you crazy thoughts, like thoughts that I don't want to say, but very bad thoughts. Like, I'm going to give an example, like a dream that I once had that I was stabbing a person. But it gets worse. You feel me? If you get those type of dreams or whatever, it's the spirit that's bothering you. If you're feeling in the middle of the night, it's bothering you. It's waking you up. It's making you sweat. It's making you worry. It's making you feel pain. That's what I'm picking up here. I don't like this reading. What else, Vinegra? This person um, said that we're not going to change and move forward. This person's going to come back and bother you. Look at this, the devil. I'm telling you, I don't like this energy. This person is very dangerous. And when I'm telling you, I'm not playing games here. I channel, I read, and I've never failed. And I'm telling you, this person is a really evil, conniving. It's a very evil, dangerous. Like if you're watching a fucking movie is what I'm going to tell you here. This person might get locked up or they've been doing time or they done time. They don't give a fuck. This person works straight evil. And they don't give three fucks. They've told you they're the devil themselves. They've foamed out the mouth. This person, I'm not saying they gave their soul to the devil or they sold their soul or they worked devil shit. They might do it. But it's just a person that was born evil. It was a bad seed that was born here. And you so happen. To get involved with this bad seed. Keep on standing up for yourself. Do not let go. Do not give in. Do not be scared of nobody. Do what you gotta do in this situation. I will tell anybody to call the police. Even though I don't fuck with the police. Because this person is very dangerous. I feel like you're seeing dark things around your house. There's more than one in your house dark spirits in your house I feel like you've seen a little thing pass by and you think it's a little kid or a little boy or a little leprechaun looking type of thing it's a little demon I'm not trying to scare you but it's what I'm, she's telling me there's a woman here that does Wicca practices Wicca and, that's, and started years ago Practicing Wicca. This person is involved with this person. It's either a mother, a sister, or a brother, or something like that. But I feel like this person, or either a girlfriend, or uh, a sister of a man that they're with. It could be either way, male or female. But there's a female involved here that does Wicca. 
very strong, but they don't look, they don't do good things like I do. You feel me? Because I do Wicca, I do um ceremonial because I'm Santera, but I do good things for people. And I remove all this bullshit, but this person does evil. They work together. I feel like two people here, man. It could be mother and daughter. It could be mother and, and brother. I mean, brother and sister. It could be cousins. They work together bad shit, but this person's pure evil. It's like I'm even cutting off from the channeling because I don't like this energy. Minera. You could be dealing here with a Capricorn. With an Aries. With a Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio. Libra. Gemini. More Aries. More um, Gemini. Pisces. Pisces again. My God. Like this person is rubbing me the wrong way. Oh my God. Minera. Give me something else on the spread. Wow. Somebody's sick here in the family. Somebody here knows that somebody's sick in the family. And somebody's expecting something. Somebody here knows that somebody either going to pass away in the family or they already passed away. They left you something. Or they might have something, a little bit of something they left you. Or they wanted to leave you something and they couldn't. And this person... Taurus, I don't know who I'm picking up on here, but somebody's going to receive news that somebody passed away. It could be a father, it could be a mother, it could be a grandmother, it could be a, you know, someone you love is going to pass away here. I feel like it's coming soon. You're going to be very shocked when you hear this message, and I feel like somebody has been expecting it or already happened, but I feel like somebody here is very sick. And it's going to pass away in the family. Bad health. Somebody in the family. But I feel like from the realm, this person is going to help you. And sudden wealth doesn't mean money. Always. It means any type of wealth. I feel like whatever's going on here, whoever's in the realm is going to help you. There's income in the bottom. This person might leave you something or might have been a person that had a little bit and leaves you something, but anything is something. I don't know why I'm seeing a forest here or a lot of trees here behind somebody's house. And I see a building behind that house. I don't know. Be careful. Taurus, I don't, I don't like this. I'm seeing a lot of forests, a lot of like dirt with rocks. I'm seeing like trails. If you have trails like that that you walk or you ride bike or you just go there to hang out, don't go into those trails. They're going to find something in those trails. They're going to find bones. I'm not going to say nothing else because it's too much for a person. I mean for tarot. I don't know why I'm going to throw these. I don't even feel like throwing them, but she told me to grab them. It could be past, present, or future. Is there anything here for Taurus? This is really bad. I don't like this. Anything else? That's it. I don't know how I feel anymore. Somebody here doesn't know what to do. Somebody here is very restless. Somebody here doesn't know what to do or didn't know what to do. And if you already moved out of this energy, you still don't know what to do. But there's a lot of people involved here. It's not only a person you're with. There's family. There's friends. There's people. There's people that went against you for this person. This person and whoever they're with, whoever they were with, they're pure evil. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. They know. They know. They're toxic. They know they're evil. And they don't give a fuck. But they don't give a fuck. 
person me or nothing. They don't give a fuck. This person is doing a lot in the background. This person might even like to involve like other people in your sex life who has asked you to do things with them. Threesomes and things like that. And they still have done it. And they don't give a fuck even if they turn your face. Why is very significant here? I keep on hearing why. The letter Y. Or why. Or somebody saying why. Why me or why. Or somebody said why. But why is very significant here. Get yourself, I mean, it's not going to remove voodoo, it's not going to remove no devil energy, it's not going to remove no wicca, it's not going to remove anything, but try to get yourself an augis, a rune, an augis rune, with the Y, and put it for protection, you could even write it down on a little paper, write the augis, look it up, it's a rune, it's the augis rune, it's the Y. Write that on a piece of paper and carry it with you. It's for protection, but it's not going to take off none of this. But at least something is something, something with you. This person is going to harm somebody here really bad. I feel like they've even involved themselves in kidnappings. Oh my God. Two to two's on the clock. Right now. Two to two's on the clock. Give me a spirit animal. Please. I want to put this reading down. She gave you two. You got lion. Higher calling. We have within you. You have within you. All the courage you need. Let go of the past. And remain your majesty. You will find success. And contentment with those. By your side. Make noble choices for your life. And your tribe. Okay. Keep your strength. Up. Keep on going. Do not look back. Everything you do, you know, it's like if you have a higher calling here. So try to work with your ancestors. Get to guides to help you. You need to re remove and break everything here. And use and you, you need a lot of strength for this. You have a higher purpose. You got the humpback whale, singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you. And keep you from your goals. Align with your purpose. And the power in your soul. Okay. So you need to reach out to your higher self. You need to reach out to your soul. You need to have power within you. Put your strength in you. So you can get to where you want to go. If you're stuck in a situation like this. You need a lot of strength. You need to work with your guides. You need to work with your ancestors. Because the only ones that can break these things. Are your guides or your ancestors. My God. Could be first, last. This could be. I'm so stuck right here. I don't like this energy. It's the worst energy I've ever felt in tarot. Not in real life, because I've seen some crazy shit. I've seen death and came back. I've gone, seen death, came back right out. I've worked with death to take people out of death. I've worked with my ancestor dealing over there with the other side to save people. But what I'm feeling here right now, I feel like somebody's gonna get hurt really bad. Please don't ignore this and please get yourself some protection. This could be first, middle, last, initial. For you, this person, who you're thinking about, it don't matter. You got here. Hmm. It's like the, she wouldn't let me turn it. It's a D, but she wouldn't let me turn it. I don't know. I'm getting a C I in this in this D right here. She wouldn't she doesn't let me she wouldn't let me turn it twice. You got a D here. Take a C I with you. You got a B. C I Chris, maybe. I don't know. And this goes to be a Z. I'm very like right now, like the energy's with me. You got a T here. You got a Z and an N here. You got an L. You got an I, which could also be an H. You got a straight N. You got a T. You got a C. You got an X. You got a G. 
you got an N, which goes to be you. I'm feeling confused right now. Like, my mind is gazing out. So some of you might be confused if somebody had a concussion in their head or hit their head. And it's like... And, It's like affected you. You might have trouble speaking after something that has happened to you. I feel like they hit you on the head. I feel it. I feel like sometimes you have trouble speaking or had a moment of trouble speaking. Or somebody was intubated here and had trouble speaking, but something was going on with the head. I'm feeling it all down my back now. You got an O here. You got a T. I don't know if that's a person that, that passed on or somebody's going to pass on something in their head. It could be a tumor. Or a hit in the head or an arrhythm, something like that. Or somebody got hit in the head here. It's, it's, it's really, somebody can't talk here. You got two T's and you got two N's. It could be Z's. Let me flip these. You got another O. And you got another E. You got another T and you got another O, so I'm gonna flip these two. You got an A and you got a T. Another T. T is very significant here for somebody. Let me flip this T. It's almost like if somebody's here confused, they can't think right. It's like you're in a. It's like you're in a. In a oh my God. It's like if like you're in a in a in a daze all day long. Or was. You got an F here. I love you all. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.